Number seven in the Rero video range is The Boss from Fernando De Leo. It is the third part in his milieu trilogy following uh, Calibra 9 and the Italian Connection, of which I still to see the Italian Connection. Uh, and this is a super violent, if typical plot, somewhat to Mafia films. We have here some various gangs that are fighting against each other. We have the police force looking to clamp down, who are somewhat a little bit dirty as well in working with various uh, Mafia members. We have unseen bosses who are putting the pressure on these gangs to stop the war. And we kind of focus on Lanzetta, played by Henry Silva's character, an enforcer who is, for the most part, stoic, silent, and does his job diligently. His job as being an enforcer is to kill people, and in the opening sequence we see him taking out a group of people in a phenomenally fun way. And what is constantly surprising throughout this film is how they find new and inventive ways of killing many people throughout this film. And it's always entertaining, it's always fun, it's always exciting. This is a superbly uh, paced and thought out thriller. Uh, one is often shunned, I would say, out of this trilogy of films that De Leo made, but one that is exemplary in showing how a great filmmaker he is. We have all these characters, we have all these various factions, and we jump between them almost seamlessly. You get an idea of the landscape. There is also a little duality in the characters. You're never quite sure where the alliances lie, and that leaves some room for tension in a lot of sequences, wondering how they're going to play out, who, in fact, is being double-crossed, and who's going to die a bloody death. Well... The answer is everybody. Everybody is going to die a horrible death in here. Look right in my face. <laughs> this is a movie about horrific characters doing the most deplorable things to one another for whatever reason that they can muster along the way. And it is uh, held together by Henry Silva, who is wonderful, a, a rather cold and unfeeling character, a character who you get a fully great sense of what he's roughly been through, how he's got to the situation he is in, how he fully understands the world he is in, and although he doesn't talk much, he thinks a hell of a lot, and he knows a lot of the angles that are going on here, which is just wonderful. There is a great cast here as well, a host of familiar faces and some terrific actors. You've got Gianni Garco, you've got Richard Conte, Henry Silva leading the show, and many more familiar faces throughout this film. This mafioso epic, which promises more at the end of the film, but never quite lives up to that as we never got any further adventures of uh, Lizetta. This is a impactful and wonderful movie. The least I can do is warn you. What else is there? That's kind of pointless, isn't it? It has this wonderful nature of having these confined spaces within the film. It becomes almost claustrophobic as you're watching these people move through these uh, rooms or places where violence is strongly expected and there is this heightened sense of weariness from everybody. Uh, it feels like a horrible situation to be in, as you know that it could kick off at any moment, it's probably going to, and it's that controlled space that makes you feel as if you're going to get chaotic violence here, where just anybody is in line to be killed, and more likely will throughout it. There are various Subplots as well, like uh, a mobster's daughter who is kidnapped by a rival gang. No slut was laid like you're going to get laid. You're going to be laid till your feet come. <laughs> which leads into all different kinds uh, of avenues with that story, which I won't go into just now. There is an aging boss who is starting to clean things up a little bit. Um, he understands the political nature of the Mafia 
and at a certain line he's going to have to stop what he's doing and, and listen to what he's being told but he's going to try and take out as many of his adversaries as he possibly can in this one and it's just so perfectly paced you know 109 minutes we don't lose um, focus on the main storyline we keep a, a, an interesting aspect on the characters learning more about our main guy and what he is really after as much as we possibly can all the ins and outs of the backstabbing and double triple quadruple crosses that happen throughout the film and it's super violent I mean the violence happens it is shockingly realistic it is shockingly different in the way that they tackle different people from wonderful aspects that I really want to talk about but I won't because I feel they're really surprising it really does ramp up the violence and you feel the bloodshed throughout this film I loved the boss I thought it was a terrific film a really engaging uh, movie that although has many typical notes throughout it to the police your techie, to the gangster movies, to the mafioso movies, it still blazes its own path, which I loved. Let's dive into this disc and have a look at the extras. Here we are in the disc for the boss. Let's go to the special features. First up, we have an audio commentary by Rachel Nisbet. Next, we have Mafia Stories, documentary featuring stars Gianni Garco, Pier Paolo Capone, and director Fernando De Leo, as well as others. This runs at 23 minutes, 42 seconds. It is a kind of archival uh, piece. It's really kind of fun, focusing a lot on people's reminiscences of the film itself. Next, we have an interview with Fernando De Leo biographer, David Pulici. This runs at a clean 35 minutes. It's a fantastic talking head who focuses quite a lot on De Leo and this movie in particular talking about how it was based on the book Mafioso and it was really faithful to that. He uh, goes into an anecdote later on about a lawsuit that came through the film. Uh, I won't spoil that one, but that's a, a really interesting thing. And how Tarantino kind of played a part in keeping the, the legacy of the Italian connection alive and maybe used it for one of his films. We have an image gallery of promotional materials and the original theatrical trailer, which runs at 3 minutes 29 seconds. As well as that, we have a 24-page booklet included in this disc which has an essay in it talking about De Leo and politics put into his mafioso films and there is an interview with De Leo as well talking about how he creates his noir aesthetic within his Italian genre films. And that's the extras for The Boss. So there we have it. The Boss is out now. It is a must-pick-up if you are a De Leo fan, if you like Italian crime movies, you need to get this. It's just wonderful. I adored it. I can't wait to go back and visit it again. I really need to get my hands on the Italian connection now and check that one out. Pick it up. You will not be sorry. Terrific release. If you've seen this film, or if you've seen any, or the, the you know, Milano Calibra 9, eh, or the Italian collection, let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on these films. Deleo is the director as whole. Can't wait to read your comments on that. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, and manvfilm.com. Always, I make sure you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.